Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, you know, here recently, it's been, I guess it's probably been a couple weeks ago, maybe a little bit more. Um, I reached, I had somebody ask me, I was like, hey JB, you know, you talk about um, gritty pivots and flushing of pivots. Would you mind or would you think about doing a video to show us how you flush a pivot? I'm like, sure, you know, I can definitely, definitely do that. Sorry, it's taken me a little bit to get to it, but here we go. Now, this is just how I do it. This I'm not telling you you have to do it this way. This is just how I flush the pivots on a lot of my slip joints. Um, now, sometimes you'll get a slip joint and you'll have a lot of, you might have, it might be kind of grindy, kind of gritty in there. Um, not all the time, but sometimes you'll find it and you can kind of hear it. You can feel it. Um, I kind of recommend you do it to most of your slip joints. Again, you don't have to. This is just kind of what I do. And there again, there'll be some that I don't do it to because it just doesn't feel like it needs it. Then others, like these Rough Riders sometimes, they'll definitely have a little bit of grinding grit or something in there. And you just want to flush it out so it runs a little bit smoother. Now, the one I'm going to do it on today is it feels okay. Feels like there could be something in there. And this is one of the high carbon steel knives from Rough Rider. That's what I'm going to do it to today. So basically all you're going to need for how I do it, if you want to do it like I did, obviously you're going to need some sort of rag. I have some paper towels here as well, a hank, a cleaning cloth, whatever you choose to use as you're wiping. You know, I usually like to put a mat or something down. As a matter of fact, let's see here. I'm going to, there we go. Here it is. I should put this underneath it. Got my little Benchmade mat there. I'm gonna put that under the cloth just to make sure I don't leak anything. It doesn't leak through through the table. And it's kind of grippy too, so that's nice. So it hopefully won't slide around on there. Um, you're gonna need your favorite lube, uh, whatever you choose to flush or pivot with. Now I know some people, like I use KPL on a lot of my knives. Sometimes when I do uh, the flushing of these slip joints, I'll use kind of more of a generic oil because I'm kind of wasting it. I mean, it's it's serving a purpose, but for my slip joints, I use KPL on pretty much all my mo my modern knives, slippers, that type of thing, because I just like the way it performs. But sometimes I will use just a generic oil to flush with. I have my KPL handy, so that's just what I'm going to use today. And this is just regular old KPL. It's not the heavy. It's not the the super light stuff. It's just regular regular old KPL. That's what we're going to use. And then I have canned air. So that's what I help get that kind of flush that pivot out with. Shake the can up a little bit. Now, what I do normally is I got the knife. And you can see we're kind of a little bit of a different angle on the table this time because, well, it just kind of works better this way. So you're going to want to put that oil in there fairly liberal. Because he needs to, it needs to really get down in there, and I just, I kind of just dump it in there to be honest with you. Then I'll take the blades, and I'll kind of work it, work it in a little bit. Take that blade, I got this blade. I'll kind of work it in a little bit, and then you want to be careful, and it's a little bit harder with a multi bladed knife because obviously you got two edges that are going to cut you and then I just kind of hold it like so shake that up a little bit and blow I'll blow that out and you can see there I've blown that oil out and let's see Oh yeah, look, let's see that. Look, look at that grit and grime I blew out of there. Yeah, so okay, cool, very good. And then you can see even there, look at that on the back spring, ew. And that's kind of why I got the white paper towel out here. Oh yeah, look, look what's in there. So yeah, I mean, it's not a bad thing to flush your pivots like that, guys. And just remember, once you do it, you're going to have some residual oil in there. So you're probably going to have some stuff, you know, 
leaking out, so you're going to want to be careful. And even, I don't know, let's see if you can see that. I got to be really careful with those on one. But look at that. Look at the gunk. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, we're getting some gunk out of there. So now I'm going to leave it just like this with those blades open. And guys, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. You don't want the blades to close on your fingers. And that's something I know people will say, well, that's why I don't have slip joints. I don't want them closing on my finger. I get it. I get it. So there we go. We got our oil in there again. I'm just going to wipe that right there just for the heck of it. No, that's not too bad. I do need to get down in those crevices, though. It'll be easier once I shut the knife. But I just let it, you know, kind of let it run through. And then I'll do kind of the opposite on this. And it's always funky to hold it. But I'll hold it down here. Don't want to blow my oil all over the place. But see, look what it's doing. It's blowing that. Oh, catch the light, will you? There it is. It's blowing that gunk out of there. I'm going to close that blade. I'm going to wipe right there. Oh, yeah. Look what we blew out of there. Definitely. And like I said, you're going to have to you're going to have to do this and it that stuff might keep coming out of there for a little while because you're going to have the residual oil, but that's why I kind of blow it out to blow the primary, you know. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's got some gunk. That's going to be good. Now, hopefully that'll operate a little bit smoother. And like I said, this one was not bad to begin with, but it kind of felt like there could be some stuff in there and there was definitely definitely some stuff in there. 100%. And you know, and that's just kind of what I do, guys. I'll do that, you know, maybe two, three more times. Now I blew it back this way. So now we've got some gunk in there. So one more time, I'm just going to do it. Oh, I need to. There we go. So I do, I put the blades kind of in that configuration so it'll sit on my cloth and I can blow it out and clean it up a lot easier. So I'm going to put some oil down there. Going to gunk it in there. Let it sit, let it run through, shake up my air while I'm doing that. Let's find this. Oh, it's already pushing it out. We'll find this a little clean spot on the cloth, and we'll see how dirty we make it. And it's nice because you can get that tip right down in there. Oh, look at that. Look what I just blew, the gunk I just blew out of there. So, guys, you're basically going to want to do that until you're not getting any more gunk. You know, you make sure you get it all out of there. And I know those are really, really technical terms, gunk and junk and crap and crud, but it's what it is. It's nasty, nasty stuff. And then you're going to have some stuff in there, so this is always fun. And you can do it just like this to protect your finger. There you go. Put it down there on the table. Then I'll take, I might be able to do it just with the corner of this. But I'll run that corner down in there, and you can use, I know there's flat stuff. I know Nelly's probably got some flat. Oh, look at that. Look at that gunk. Yeah. So, you know, especially especially with these, you know, lower end Rough Riders. And when I say lower end, I am talking lower end of the price spectrum. I, I You know me, guys. I think, really, I think, whoa, there's my cloth. I think Rough Riders, well, I'll pick that up. Rough Riders are still one of the best value knives out of there because they don't pretend to be anything they're not. They're, they're well, they're kind of like me. Uh, what you see is what you get. Uh, they're really, for the most part, they're well done. They're a $15 knife in a lot of cases, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. So here's some more of that gunk. And yeah, they don't pretend to be anything they're not. They got a, sometimes they'll have a little quirk, like they might have a little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of gapping up there on that one, you know. Um, trust me, I have my quirks. I'm not perfect. So, yeah, me and Rough Riders kind of go together. Uh, if you're perfect, well, I guess Rough Riders not for you then. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But, yeah, and then you can just wipe it, clean it out. You know, I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to do that a few more times until I can get it. So it's not dumping out all that junk. But I mean, there you go, guys. That's, you can see we got quite a bit of gunk on our rag. And I mean, look what came out of it. So 
Definitely something you like to do, or I like to do with my slip joints, just so they're operating a little better. Now, of course, I'm not, I don't want my slip joints flopping around like a lot of my uh, modern folders do. I don't care the fidget factor. That's not what they're meant for. They're meant to be a classic knife. You know, users, they're not meant to be the fidget factor like the modern folders are. So that's really not even a thing for me. So there we go. But there you go, guys. That's just kind of a quick down and dirty, literally dirty, on how I flush the pivot of a lot of my slip joints. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope maybe this may have helped you in some way. Um, yeah, that's what we're here for. So really appreciate it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, if, let me know if you have a different way of flushing your pivot. Let me know. I'd like to know. This is just kind of how I do it. And if you put your idea down in the description or down in the comment section, you know, maybe that one will help somebody. Maybe that somebody else likes that idea better and they can, you know, do maintenance a little bit better on their own knives. So really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. Remember, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.